What's up, it's Cairo. Welcome back to the channel. It's two days after season reset. We are in Platinum 2, Platinum 3, something like that. And we're doing Naya Legends. This deck is a blast to play. It catches your opponents off guard. They're not sure what to think. They're like, you play early things. They're like, oh, is this mono white? And then you play a mountain. And they're like, no, this is Boros. And then it's Naya. It's just really crazy. This, uh, I'm not going to go through the entire deck. There's a lot of good legends in here that play off of each other, as you'll see in the games. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. Consider subscribing and leave a comment with any questions or uh, comments or ways that I can improve. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the games. Have a good day. All right, opponents going first. We have two lands. Both of these are fast lands, as far as we're concerned. And we have all three colors of mana. We have a turn one evolving adaptive and then a Thalia. That taxes our opponent's non-creature spells. That's off to a good start. We do have access to red and green and white mana. We do not have double white so far for Adeline, but we can keep this hand. This looks all right. There's Malira, the living cure. So let's go ahead and get our adaptive going. Oh, there goes Adaptive. Poor Adaptive. Okay, Thalia is the play here, because they're going to want to Fable the Mirror Breaker, and we want to say no to Fable. No turn three Fable. Hmm. Okay, there's Besiege who endures. We can Brutal Cathar this Appraiser. I'm not sure if that's going to be our smartest play, though. I think we might just want to go in with our Loyal Bodyguard here. Sacrifice, get rid of the Corpse Appraiser that way. So we just use him kind of like a removal spell. Sorry, buddy. He did prove his loyalty, though. Black mana, black mana, black mana. So they're going to invoke despair for sure. Making it hard for us to attack with our Thalia. So I guess what we do here... We'll just go Adeline. Since we got that double white. And just hold off. So we have to be expecting an Evoke Despair. At some point. Likely to see Soren, Fable the Mirror Breaker. Things like that. Things like that. grixis -y things. Power up Adeline. Make some tokens. That way they hit us with an Invoke Despair. We just sacrifice one of these tokens here. Because I think that's what they're building up to. Essentially is an Invoke Despair here. Now to order, in order to target the Graveyard Trespasser. We have to... Oh, Hellraiser? 4-4 four, four, Flying... When it enters the battlefield, exile three cards at random from your graveyard. Choose a non-creature, non-land, and copy it. Cast the copy without it. So it's going to be a cut down or an abrade. All right. Probably going to abrade Malira, I would think. They're tapped out. There's no way they attack. 
So we can Brutal Cathar, the Hellraiser, attack with everything. They're going to block Squee, I would think. And then take a bunch. They'd have to block Adeline. Yeah, we'll do this. Take this. Put this down for the extra power for Adeline. In with everything. And they have to block Adeline or die. Alright, now they need a board wipe. <clears throat> need like a drag to the bottom or something. Land, land. Island Swamp Mountain. So they could do minus four, minus four to everything if they did have a drag to the bottom. I don't think they have it though. Alright, good game. Okay, opponent goes first. We have four lands. All of our colors are represented here. We have a hopeful initiate. Baird on turn two. If we can get that going and train this, we can start making soldiers off of Baird. It's a fine opening hand. Wish we had a better four drop in this hand that we can curve out, but okay. And we're going second. Reckoner Raid. Um, okay, new plan. Since we have Evolving Adaptive and Baird cares about things having greater power than they started with, we're going to start with the Adaptive, not the Initiate. And I should have played a Gorge there, but put myself on hard mode. I don't need the life. It's fine. Um, mm -hmm. Just making mistakes tonight, man. That's okay. I'm going to keep them in the video because I like to show mistakes. We all make them. All right. Head in the game. Squee. If they don't kill Baird here, we're going to make another 1-1. One, one. That's a good pull. Alright, we got there. Made a few misplays. Got lucky a little bit, but that's what Magic the Gathering is all about. We take the bad luck with the good luck. Alright, head in the game. Here we go. Okay, we're going first. Oh, no white mana. Really? If we get one mana, we would be fine. Alright, we got a mulligan that. This looks better... Basically going to get rid of Skrelv or Evolving Adaptive, probably. Alright, we'll get rid of the Adaptive. Start the game with Skrelv.
All right, I'm okay with that. We need the white mana. All right. That'll work. We'll get Adeline in next turn. Pretty sweet. First strike. Change of plans. When this post comment main phase top X, exile one, put the rest of the bottom, you play the exile card. All right, that's fine. Archfiend. Haste here. In here. Rexian mana here. Protection from black can't be blocked by black. Say, I don't think you want to attack. All right, how do we do this? So, actually, yeah, we do it like this. Adeline, yes. Give Adeline uh, unblockable by red, go in. Good to go. Got there. Good game. All right, opponent's going first. Uh, we have a hopeful initiate, Malira, Lauren. Yeah, we have a good curve out here. Wonder if they play with fire our initiate. They're gonna play with fire us, maybe? Okay. Well it gets it out of their hand and it stops damage from occurring to us, so that's fine. We still may have two one twos after all. So we're going to 13. Halana and Elena needs to be our play on turn 4 just for the reach. For sure.
See if we can get out of this one. Adeline Haste, and we'll go in with Lauren and Adeline. They take it. They go to five. Phoenix chicks can't block. They're gonna come in, bring us to six. One three prowess. Ward pay two life. So if we drop Jetmir, we'll have five creatures. That'll be one short of giving them trample. So I'll get plus one, plus zero. Five, six, seven, eight. This should be enough. Because we're going to make a token. A thing here, here. Because I can only block one other thing. This has protection from red. That's eight guaranteed damage. Yeah, that's it. All right, good game, Mono Red. That was a good one. Uh, oh, yeah, we got the poison counter from Skrelv. So that does it for the Night of Legends video. I hope you enjoyed the matches. This game, uh, this deck is really, really fun to play, especially when you drop a Jetmir with a bunch of tokens out. Just like a nice thing that uh, that we haven't seen much. Even in New Capenna, we didn't get to see Jetmir that much, so it's nice that he has a home here. Um, if you liked the video... Please hit that thumbs up. It's free. It supports the channel. And thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you next time.